Hey everybody, this is Gareth Earth and Time, and today I'm coming to you on an adventure to track dinosaurs. So I'm in St. George, Utah, which sits in the southwestern corner of the state of Utah, really close to Arizona and the Nevada border. And here, there's a number of dinosaur trackways around the city, including one amazing museum, which I visited before and did a video on, which I'll link up above here, so you can take a look at that on your own. However, what I want to show you are some of the track sites that are outside of the museum here in the greater St. George area, including this one where I'm at here in Washington, Utah. I believe they call the Red Cliffs or the Dino Cliffs of Washington. So let's get to it. And the first dino track we can see here, we can actually see the three toes right here. So here's one toe, there's another toe, and there's another toe. So this is probably some kind of theropod or meat-eating dinosaur that was walking through here. Now, what's the geologic formation we're in here? We're in what's known as the Canto Formation. It's the Upper Jurassic in age. And so this would have been, most people are familiar with Jurassic Park. So this would have been the prime time, kind of the golden age of the dinosaurs, if you will. But things like T-Rex weren't around at this time or Triceratops. So from this first dinosaur track, which you can really see from this angle, let me pan up and show you what the cliff face looks like here and where we're sitting in geologic time. So we're in the upper Jurassic and we're in a unit known as the Kayenta Formation. Now the upper Jurassic, as I mentioned before, the Jurassic was the golden age of dinosaurs. So you'd see a lot of different kind of classic dinosaurs. You think of Stegosaurus and Allosaurus and the long neck dinosaurs like Diplodocus running around. Now I don't think we're going to see any of those footprints, but what we do have are some smaller, probably meat eaters, which we can see that one nice one I pointed out in the first place here. And we call those theropods. And we can tell because of the angle of their toes Usually if they have more of a V angle between their toes, a tighter angle, if you will, they're probably theropods. It has a little bit of wider angle. Usually there's some kind of herbivores. Now, I don't know enough about dinosaurs in the upper Jurassic to know exactly what kind of dinosaur this size could have made this track, but maybe that's something, something that if somebody wants to comment down below, they can tell me. But what I do want to show are the large tracks here. And maybe it's hard to see those, but from this angle, let's see if I can point them out. There's a large track here and another one steps out and steps out and steps out. So we can see these trackways probably starting even here where a dinosaur, and I'm gonna to try to walk with them, stepped. Now take a big step, stepped. Take another big step, stepped and stepped. I'm gonna start tripping over these. Stepped and then worked its way out that direction. Now, a dinosaur making a trackway this big was pretty large and we can tell that by the stride and the size of the foot so i can put my foot in here and you can see my foot is dwarfed can we say i know the sun's not the best angle right now my foot is dwarfed compared to the size of that track and i can see from this first track yeah you know, stick my foot there so you can see it a little better in the light from that first track it steps again to here and then it steps again to here. And then it steps again to here and then goes. Now, if I look at that kind of stride, I know what my stride looks like. And this is about two and a half times my stride. So that tells me it's hip height, which probably two to two and a half times my hip height. And what does that mean? That means that whatever creature is making these big trackways was probably, I don't know, I'd guess 12 to 15 feet tall. So it was a pretty big animal walking, right? through here pretty cool to see and with that again you had some of these smaller trackways so we had the small one we saw for first time there there's actually some other small trackways in here as well and you can see a toe and then see some toes in here for a smaller trackway we can come over here i think somebody's trying to clean this trackway out and there's probably another trackway right here and it looks like somebody's trying to clean this out and another one here so you can see where a smaller most likely theropod dinosaur was walking through as well. All right, so I'm going to move on from this track site here in Washington, Utah, where you can see maybe what could have been an Allosaurus stepping through. Boom, 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 boom. Of course, my favorite dinosaur, so that'd be really cool. I'm just going to imagine that's what that big dinosaur was. And of course, these smaller theropods that were walking through here. And I'm not exactly sure what type of dinosaur they would be. A really nice, pretty accessible 
area. It's free to come to. The key is it looks like they're doing some housing development just on the other side of where I ended up parking. And you do have to go up and down a pretty good hill here uh, with some soft sand. Now the soft sands due to what you can see behind me, all these rocks are really made up of sandstone and mudstone, which means you get lots of sand dunes, which makes it pretty tough going sometimes when you're going uphill. In fact, you can see the sand dunes here. So what are sand dunes? Well, they're just recycled rock. That's all sand is. Sand is in a constant recycling process. It forms into rock, it gets eroded through wind and water, gets transported like the sand dunes here, and then eventually becomes rock again. Earth, the great recycler. Thank you everybody for joining me today to check out those dinosaur tracks in the St. George area. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to visit the other track sites on this trip due to something that came up. I will be back again in Southern Utah in the not so distant future, so stay tuned for me going to track the rest of those dinosaur track sites down. So with that being said, you all know what to do if you enjoyed this video, you enjoy this channel. Thank you again for joining me and take care.